You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another inspiring episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. Hopefully inspiring, and my name is Rob. Welcome to the episode number 819. Glad that you're with us. Hope you're having a very good day. Yeah, you should be having a good day. Hope you're out there practicing. I think it'll be really important to make sure that you practice your flying, practice your business skills. How are you creating systems, habits, routines to make your business easier? It's just a question. Think about it. Anyway, uh, before we get into today's question, just want to say thank you for listening and thank you for the reviews. Thanks for sharing the show with someone else and thanks for helping out the drone community as a whole. Because why? Well, because we all love to fly. Pretty simple. All right. What are we going to be talking about today, Rob? Yes, we do. We're going to be talking um, about a lot. But actually, first, we want to say thank you to our friends over at Schedule Drone and uh, just tell you a little bit about them. So they've identified a six-step process for nearly automating the entire business of theirs over at Schedule Drone. It's something that they've worked on for a long time. And they're currently focused on the first part of assisting clients with their service requests through location-based information collection. So again, it's creating a system such that they don't have to focus so much on working on the details of the business. They can just go do what needs to be done and have some of that stuff be happening automatically, which is fantastic. Once they have that part of the puzzle all figured out and perfected, then they're going to move on to the next phase, which is going to be advanced automations like generated automated proposals, estimates, contracts, other legal documents that are going to be very helpful to you, and eventually invoicing and billing. So that's going to be fantastic when that happens. And when that happens, you'll be able to spend less time behind your computer dealing with paperwork. Small business people know all about that. You want to avoid it if at all possible, and they're trying to help you do that. So go to schedudrone.com. You can do a 15-day trial. Ultimately, it'll be 20 bucks a month, but if you use the coupon code DRONEU, all lowercase, D-R-O-N-E-U, all lowercase, you can get 25% off for the life of your subscription. Check them out. Here's the question. Hello, this is Dan Peters, and I'm uh, in Kansas City, Missouri. I really enjoy your podcast daily. I listen to them uh, for about the last two months and listen to your back ones, and they're always uh, interesting, funny, and informative. Here's my problem. I recently bought a Crystal Sky device, uh, but I don't know if there's any mapping app that works on it. I don't think there's a one for Pix4D, Drone Deploy uh, that has bugs in it. Is there a mapping app or apps that work on Crystal Sky and which one's the best? I really appreciate any uh, answers or direction you can send to me. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate the the nice comments, by the way, about the podcast. Uh, we don't take that lightly. We do appreciate it and and enjoy hearing the good feedback, but also the feedback that uh, helps us get better. So send it all. Just be nice about it. We appreciate that too. But if you've got a question, go to askdroneu.com. So Paul, we talked a little bit about this in the Crystal Sky, and it's probably pretty limiting for mapping um, to the point where it's difficult to use? Well, it's just, you know, if you're going to be setting up a business where you're doing mapping all the time, and again, we go back to we're setting up a business of systems where we can do these things, we can do our workflow. It's, I mean, it's things like what Schedule Drone helps companies do, which is manage the flow of start to finish. And what is the definition of the start of the contact with the client and what is what is the end? Uh, and I think it's you know really important to know. Actually, side note, I met someone really important on a plane ride uh, this last week from Houston, sat next to her the whole time, and, and she told me that she's in the business of buying companies. She says she'll never buy a company unless they have some sort of CRM management tool. Hmm. And it just goes to show you know, systems, CRM management, customer relationship management. What do you know about this person? Have you, you know, aggregated this data so that other people can pick up in your shoes and help those people whenever they need it? Uh, You know, it's those systems. But anyway, uh, these systems help us perform jobs at a higher quality, at a more efficient pace than the average operator. Does the Crystal Sky help us do that? The answer is no. The reason why. Um, Is it very time intensive to install things like Litchi? and PIX4D onto the Crystal Sky. Yes, it is. Can you do it? Yes. Is it possible to use it? Yes. Is it glitchy? Yes. Does DJI provide support if you have problems with these applications on your Crystal Sky? No. Okay, so that's one 
That's one hinge point about why you may question whether I want to use a mapping application on a crystal sky. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. I have a crystal sky. I love it. It's great for video. I don't use it for mapping. I don't use it for mapping for one really important reason. There are a couple different types of mapping acquisitions, right? You can you could do a nadir mission. You could do a cross hatching mission. You could do a cross hatching mission with an oblique angle. You can do orbits. You can do free flight. You can do vertical mapping. There are a lot of different ways to acquire data to get good data depending on the type of building the style of building the lighting what type of shading you have you know these are all things that go into what is the best way to map said structure if i go to a ranch and i'm mapping this ranch so that someone can say hey we're a working ranch come check out our ranch they want to do an interactive map but they also want to be able to measure certain piles on the ground Mm-hmm. Right? Manure. So manure. But they also have this really cool water tower that they want in their map because they're doing the interactive map for marketing. Okay, well, I'm going to need Ground Station Pro for that because of the vertical mapping feature that's available on Ground Station Pro. Right. All right, well, now I'm still taking the Crystal Sky off. I'm using my iPad because I can't use an iPhone or a Crystal Sky for Ground Station Pro. I didn't know you couldn't use an iPhone. Interesting. Nope, you can only okay. use an iPad. Cool. So do I want to use a crystal sky for mapping? No, it's going to cause me more time, more trouble, more potential points uh, of, of problems. And our whole idea as drone operators is to eliminate as many pain points as possible by having things like redundancy, extra pairs of props, extra pairs of batteries, extra filters, ways to clean our lenses, you know, other things to really help make our jobs go as smoothly as possible. So I ask you, why would you invite more problems to the potential workflow. Sure. So it's just not there yet. That's the bottom line. I mean, I think it's a great idea because let's face it, you know, and I just realized this myself, iPhone 10s, iPhone 8s, they overheat even faster than older iPhones. It's a lot going on in that little thing. Yeah. So it's really good to have an iPad unless you lost it on the airplane. Uh Uh-oh. I wonder who did that. Hmm. Me? Wonder. Hmm. That was me. Anyway, (laughs) on that bombshell, uh, that's going to do it for our show today. If you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. Upload those questions. We really want to get into bigger topics, more macro stuff, business. With our business course launching very soon, we want to start getting into the business world. Also, if you have part 107 questions, recency questions, mapping questions, questions on LIDAR, questions on the fly-in, please check it out. Uh, Also, just a heads up, we're going to be doing a flash sale on the fly-in, so make sure you're listening in if you've been waiting to buy a ticket on the fly-in and maybe very soon. So check it out. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. (laughs) 